Hey guys, thanks for pressing play on this video. I wanted to talk to you about practice. A lot of you guys have questions about practice and that's a great thing to talk about. So how do you get the best out of your practice? What should you be practicing? How long do you practice? These are questions you're asking, all great points. The first thing I wanna say about practice is one section at a time. Play one section at a time. Sometimes you might have to play one note at a time. And if, it, if it's that tedious, then that's what it takes. So I guess patience is required. I, I, I know a lot of us want to have what we want to have, when we want to have it. And that's generally right now, right this moment. We don't want to wait. But uh, practice is something that really can't be rushed when you do it well. Now, if you want to improve faster, something that I've discovered that's worked for me is recording myself. So if you if you record yourself and listen back to what you did, typically you can use a, a different kind of ear, if, if you will, because when you're playing, you don't hear the same way you would as if you're not playing. And recording yourself and listening back is kind of like listening to um, a CD, you know, and if you don't get that same quality that you expect from a performance on a, on a CD or recording, no CDs anymore, I'm sorry, but then you can start to have that internal dialogue with yourself, asking the questions, why don't I quite sound the way I want to sound yet? And when you're honest with yourself and answer those questions truthfully, then you'll be able to begin to make the changes that you need to make. So with that said, I've also come to learn that typically uh, when we're missing the mark on our goals and our performance on trumpet, it's coming back to something fundamental. Sometimes your tongue just isn't lining up with your fingers, for example. So take things slower, right? Or maybe um, uh, you're getting lazy with uh, your breath control. So maybe you need to go back and do the most fundamental version of uh, some breathing exercises or some slurs. I'm just pulling out examples from the top of my head. But I'm just trying to drive home the point that sometimes we just need to go back to basics. Now, when we're talking about practice, I think it's important to talk about measurement. So if you're able to measure something, then you're able to improve on that thing. Metronomes are very important when we're talking about practice. You can measure yourself in time. How, how much have you improved? Uh, I'm six clicks better now than I was the last time I practiced this thing, for example. Tuners, of course, and you can see how uh, far away you are from the mark, from being in tune. You can measure that. So use your tools. If you're able to afford a dedicated recording device, you should purchase one and use it um, because the quality of the recording is better and you can hear nuances that your phone just won't in allow you to hear. So uh, if you can, go ahead and get a good recorder. I personally like the Zoom H1N because it's like small. You press the button and you're, you're recording. It's not a lot of menus to set up or anything like that. Um, anyway, use a recorder if you can. Use a metronome, use a tuner. Now what about video recording yourself? That's very useful. You can see when you're out of line physically and how that relates to your, the sound that you're producing. So again, I'm just talking about various ways to measure yourself so that you can improve faster. And what about having a healthy mindset in your practice session? So for me personally, I find that I practice best in the morning, uh, specifically around the 10 o'clock hour uh, somewhere in there, uh, 10 o'clock, I typically start my warm up, and I'm mentally fresh for practice between like 10 a.m. and noon. I like that personally because I've had breakfast, I've helped the children out, and they're on their way to school. I've had an exercise session in. I've had coffee or tea. I'm mentally, I'm ready to go. I'm feeling good, and now because I'm feeling good, I can focus on the work I need to do. I know some people practice better at night. Whatever works for you, do that. So regarding practice, that's all I'm gonna leave you with today. I didn't even state some of the obvious things like uh, make sure you don't have distractions. 
And what other tips that I forget? Write it down in the comments below and let's start a discussion right here on how we can get better in our practice sessions. Thanks for pressing play on this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks for the questions, keep them coming. Subscribe to the channel for more lessons on how to get better on your trumpet. I appreciate you. Keep the horn on your face and God bless you.